Your party's out camping in a forest in the middle of nowhere. It's the dawn of a new day. It's time to mark off a day's worth of rations. Today on D&D DIY, I'm going to show you how to make a set of rations from D&D. The first item in our ration pack is hardtack. Hardtack is essentially a dehydrated, unleavened dough cracker that keeps for a long time. I got this recipe from americantable.org. It's a historical recipe used by Civil War soldiers. First, preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, about, 200, uh, about 120 degrees Celsius. To a large mixing bowl, add two cups flour, a half teaspoon of salt, and enough water for the mixture to come together as a shaggy dough. I started with a half cup of water and adjusted as necessary. Roll the dough out until it is at about a third of an inch thick, and then cut into three inch squares. Okay, here are the hard tack pieces rolled and cut out. Uh, so, a word to the wise, flour your surface before you roll them out. So you see I had a hard time with these ones, they're a little st sticky to the uh, silicone mat, so they didn't pull up so evenly. Same for these ones, and then this shape I decided to just use a, uh, the lid off of a plastic container and do a round one because I thought it was a cool shape. Use a bamboo skewer, knife tip, or fork to poke holes into the dough. These small holes allow moisture and steam to escape the dough, drying it out and preventing the dough from exploding. Dry the hard tack in your 250 degree oven for four hours. Dried meat in the form of jerky is another component of the daily rations kit. Use a piece of lean meat. Here I have a two pound London broil, which is cut from the top round. My favorite cut of jerky, however, is the eye of round. Putting the meat in the freezer an hour prior to cutting helps make it easier to slice. A sharp knife is also recommended too. Trim off any remaining fat and silver skin because fat spoils quickly and does not make for a good jerky. Work quickly because slicing gets harder as the meat warms up. Here you see me trimming away, trimming away trying to get it as clean as possible. Also, don't slice towards your hand like I just did there. Not the safest of knife technique. And at some point, you gotta just live with it and say, oh, that's gonna be good enough. All right, trimming's away. Now it's time to slice this. We're gonna slice the meat into quarter inch strips. Slicing with the grain of the meat produces a tougher, chewier jerky, whereas slicing against the grain produces a tender, easier to chew jerky. Unfortunately, the footage of me marinating the jerky got corrupted, but a simple online search should give you plenty of options. I made a simple marinade using pineapple juice, soy sauce, ginger, and scallions, and garlic. This made a delicious tasting jerky you can store in the fridge and eat within a few weeks. But for longer term dry storage, you'll need to use pink curing salt, also known as prog powder. And then we will get back together to talk about the marinades. And we'll get back together shortly to assemble the final product. So here are all our components for our daily ration kit. This is the beef jerky that's finished. And I have two different flavors, hence why they're in two separate bags. And the beef jerky comes to about 12 ounces of beef jerky. In total, that's about 1,060 calories worth for the day. We also have some uh, fruit and nut mix. And this is about 10 ounces. A lot of calories are coming from here. So if you were to eat this entire 10 ounces of fruit and nut mix, it would be 1,260 calories. And then here we have our hardtack biscuits. As you can see, uh, they cut a little brown um, because my oven doesn't control temperature well. But they are extremely hard, tough, and you would not want to eat these just as a cracker because they will break your teeth. Uh, what has been typically done in the past is soldiers that used to uh, they used to soak them in water or liquid for about 15 minutes to make them soft and mushy and able to eat. So you could, they could do it in their coffee, they can do it in water, 
or they can even do it in a broth. And uh, with that in mind, I'm going to add a pack of chicken seasoning from ramen noodles to make a ramen broth to soak those in there. So that will be included in the daily ration kit. And um, that's it. That's the entirety of the kit. Weighing it out, it comes to about two pounds, which is what they say in the player's handbook. And altogether, it would be 3,200 calories. Now, that's a lot of calories. More calories in a day than a halfling might require. Uh, a goliath, bar, a, a goliath uh, or a giant, maybe 3,200 calories is, is adequate. Or, if you're an adventuring party that's burning through a lot of calories in the day through combat, it makes sense to have a lot of calories available to you through your food. So what I imagine uh, in D&D &D, doesn't give a description of how food is packed up, only what it is, the dried meats and you know the dried nuts, is, nuts and fruits and things like that. So what I imagine in the game world is that you know there's separate cloth or, or you know pieces of cloth, either pouches and they're wrapped in the pouches and then all the separate ingredients are kind of rolled into a bigger pouch and then it's held together with twine or something like that. So I imagine that's what uh, a ration pack would look like. What you could do is you could do something like that, but what I'm going to do just because we have more modern techniques available to us, I'm going to have each of these items separate and then I'm just going to freezer bag them uh, and then use a vacuum sealer to take the air out. I'll add some uh, desiccant packs and that way I can take this with me. If I wanted to go take a, a camping session, you can give them to your players. Hey, I made you a ration pack. It's a pretty cool idea, a fun gift idea, and it will store for quite a while, especially if you do the proper storage techniques. So I'm going to put it all together and we'll get back to see what my ration pack looks like. Okay, and here you have it. This is our finished rations pack. Uh, I did not have enough room in this bag to put all of it in. I still have some jerky left out. So this is actually about 24 ounces, but it's still more than enough calories to feed your character in the day. And um, I hope you give this a try. It's a lot of fun. You can take this with you on camping trips. Uh, if you wanted to pretend like you're your character, uh, you give this as gifts like I said before. That's a fun way to recreate the ration packs that they have in D&D. &D. Alright, well thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.